Good morning, blessed people. Welcome back. Good morning, <laughs> blessed people. Thank you for waiting and seeing what we have to share with you guys. We actually have a really funny and sweet story. Um, pretty much down the street from our land, from our farm, where we are doing our homestead food forest there is a neighbor that we have who last time when we first arrived in puerto rico we were getting just like local vendors i guess that people just grow like a cacao <laughs> oh wait give me one second so i don't know if you want to explain what we bought last time when no we last bought. time we passed through like near his house well no i was sharing about the entire neighborhood remember oh, no we we just went around um the neighborhood here and there is few people that sell fruits and stuff so we stopped in each like vendor <laughs> person house yeah we got like cacao. we got we got cacao papaya jojobo jojobo i don't know a few different um fruits and stuff so we passed near this person's house and he had papayas in the tree and they were ripe and we were asking him if we was gonna eat it because they were ripe already they were ready to harvest and he was like oh the thing is that this one is bad from the other side was was picked was picked by birds wait give me one second really quick I'm sorry so after after he told us about the papaya being pecked by birds he said but wait a moment i have another tree back there <laughs> so he went in the back of the house and he grabbed papaya for us <laughs> and pretty much he grows um what is that root that we have it's not yuca it's oh, yaltia right yeah. so we're growing yaltia and he he has like a ton of yaltia, piña, um, papaya, aji, peppers, and I don't know what else he has, but he has quite a bit of stuff that we probably don't even know of. Yeah. But I'm always telling Christian, I was like, I want to stop by and talk to him again because I want to get, like, I want to know where he's getting all of the pineapple seeds and stuff like that. Because since we're growing our homestead, we want to get like a lot of varieties of plants and stuff to plant. And yeah. So the thing <laughs> is that he was telling us that those seeds he don't buy anywhere like since he was like a long time ago like years years ago he started um planting pineapples and collecting the seed and everything so that's how he have all the pineapples like in he front has of a his lot. house <laughs> and when we stopped there and i was like hey excuse me can you tell me where you find your pineapple seeds he was like oh this is all i, I just keep replanting them and stuff so he was like you want seeds i was yeah and, okay give me a moment <laughs> and he grabbed like i don't know like five or six yeah. <laughs> and he was walking to the car he is he was it's like so random <laughs> you you gotta owe me like a hundred dollars right now <laughs> with all the stuff that i gave you already and the thing is that last time when we were there we start i start talking about god and I started preaching to him. Yeah, because that's what we were doing to the other people who were we were buying things from. We were wanting to like have fellowship and yeah. pretty much pray with them. Yeah, we were buying stuff and then we asked them for any things that they were needing prayers in their life. So we start praying for everyone. But this guy, <laughs> we start. Pre I start preaching to him, and then I start asking him like if he need any any Prayer. prayers or something. And he was like, no, 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 it's fine, just leave. <laughs> and right now, when he gave us the pineapple seed, he, he the, was he, like talking so much, and it started raining. And he didn't uh, let me talk to him. He was like, just get this and leave. Don't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we're gonna go back and bother the guy again. But only just to share that it's actually this Thursday will be the. 16th week of our baby astrolorps meaning they could potentially be laying eggs this week yeah so, this week or next i don't know yeah it could be between this thursday to the next or a couple weeks after it just varies 
but I'm pretty sure our chickens will start laying this week just because they've all like they're very active and healthy but yeah we want to well what we're gonna do is we've been trying to reach out to the neighbors nearby just to inform them that we'll be selling some eggs soon because 21 chicks almost two dozens of eggs every day fingers crossed hopefully and obviously we don't eat 21 eggs every day let alone mm. in a week well probably in a week but not as much anymore but yeah we're gonna show you how the seeds look and our update on our chickens and we are gonna be picking up the food for the chickens today probably and we'll let um, you guys know if we do get them today where we bought them and what we got how much it costs and yeah probably how much we spent on it but and how we are going to ferment their food just a little brief overview of it god bless everyone we love you thank you for watching so we don't have our, our little stand so excuse the angle but we just wanted to share our little pineapple seeds we have six of these dangerous <laughs> i just poked myself they have tiny thorns everywhere yeah so pretty much for those who are interested about pineapples and stuff this is the seed and this is the area where the roots are gonna start coming out mm -hmm. so pretty much to plant these you can put them in water for a little while or you can peel off everything down here in this part down here remove everything like that and that's the area where the roots gonna start coming out so if you remove everything you make the path um pretty much easier for the roots yeah to and come we actually out. he gave us one that was already in the ground yeah. growing <laughs> and if you can see it's kind of bare well it is more bare than the others and the roots are getting there so it's so nice yeah we're gonna be planting this soon so we can get papaya, papaya. papaya. so we can get pineapples <laughs> it would be great also if we get papaya from a pineapple huh oh and then also we have this morning from our breakfast i had done some pancakes and like a mix of fruit and instead of tossing wow <laughs> instead of tossing all the waste from the fruit we have papaya mango and apple in here for our chickens to eat for their appetizer uh -huh. before we prepare their other food so we're gonna give them that and yeah um we're gonna be praying over these seeds like everything that we do every time that we plant something or we transplant something or we do something whatever it is we always pray over everything so god is the one taking control of everything and because us humans we don't know how to do anything by ourselves that's we why what? we don't know how to do anything right Right. Yeah, like when we try to do stuff by our strength, our our own way, everything get bad, everything get messed up, we damage the stuff, we ruin <laughs> our lives. Yeah, we're not perfect. Yeah, so but with then, everything that we do here, we're praying over them and just leaving it to God and of course we're taking control of what we have and what we are able to do so we always just pretty much since we're working on the wood chips and taking out all the weeds that are growing 
and preventing everything that can harm or damage the energy from the plant growing but God feeds them and waters them on a daily with the sun the rain all the microorganisms inside it's yeah, really so pretty crazy much, pretty much we never watered the plants no at all when we had the seedlings we were using the seedling trays but we probably but anyway, won't no longer be doing when, that. When we use the seedlings, we water them probably four or five times. And that's it. After that, we just put them outside. Yeah. And it was raining and they were outside. When it was sunny, they were outside. When it was. So we, after like four or five times, I don't know, we stopped watering them. And we just put them outside and they were getting rain and everything. And they are doing well everything we transplant everything pretty much yeah and the other day we had transplanted um a cacao and i don't know if it's a gooseberry something one of those and we actually had left it by mistake on the concrete and it hadn't rained so much those days it was about two days i believe and some of the leaves and the new growth the leaves not necessarily the sprouts that were coming out the shoots they were kind of getting a little burnt but once we transplant to them all of them are alive healthy and well thank god just as we are yep. alive healthy and well Oh, one thing, for those who are interested about pineapples, how to plant them, or what is the seed of the pineapple, when you get the pineapple, the, how you say? The spiky area. The spiky area on the top of the pineapple, that's the seed. So if you cut the pineapple, that top part, you just twist it from the top area of the pineapple. Don't, don't flip it like that. You know, just twist it and it will come out. And then you just have to peel off those little leaves. I don't know how you can call them. And expose a little bit the bottom part. So that area can throw the roots a lot better. So that's what you plant in the ground. You don't have to cover too much, just a little bit. And that's it. And they grow almost everywhere, just as long as they have full access to the sun and a good draining soil so not too watery and not too dry but just right yeah